previously. I knew no! it. No! No! I don't want to be reset! Let me go! Ah! Run! Eat the chair! Eat it! Hey! Get off me! Uh, corridor, bedroom, mmm... Corridor! Great! We got- No! I trust I him. I can protect you. You and the little one. Ah! Ah! Turn it off! Turn it off! Ah! <laughs> we can tease him? I'm gonna tease him. I understand. It probably wasn't interesting anyway. Yeah, Man it's reverse psychology. Man found sex club downtown. Guess they'll have to solve the case without us. You know, probably wouldn't do me any harm to get some air. Oh my! Our days of slavery are over. What humans don't want to hear, we will tell them. What they don't want to give, we take. Are free. Yeah! Let's go! I'm acting like I'm an android. <laughs> Why didn't you shoot, Connor? Whoa! Some scruple suddenly enter into your program? I just decided not to shoot. That's all. Paul! I could kill you. You would just come back as if nothing happened. But are you afraid to die, Connor? Hank, chill the F out. Oh, the sexiest androids. Eden Club. And we're pulling up again with Connor. Hank <laughs> is still out of it. Oh, feels like somebody's playing with a drill inside my skull. You sure this is the place? It's the address in the report. Right. Okay. Let's get going. <laughs> Alright, let's uh, exit the car again. I'm starting it off from here, guys, because uh, for those of you who haven't seen it, I want you guys to just see where we're at so you guys kind of get a good idea of what we were in. Hey, guys, welcome back to another video. Hope you're all having a fantastic day. Sexiest Malcolm here. Androids in town. Again, 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 Hank. No, no, no. And welcome back to some more Detroit Become Human. Now, I am in such a good mood to play this. I'm so ready. The last episode was insane. It gave me literally a heart attack with Kara and Alice on edge every two minutes. Like, I didn't want them to die. Like, Alice is literally like my daughter at this point <laughs> while I'm playing the game. It's too much for me. So if anything happens to little Alice or Kara, I will be so upset. But uh, yeah, guys, we are back with my beautiful boy, Connor. Uh, how you doing, Mr. Policeman? You good? All right, officer. Okay, we are crossing, uh, not crossing. We are walking in to the sex club. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> this is so weird. How you doing? All right. See, straight away what I'm noticing, though, Connor, is... Oh. the fuck are you doing? All right, I'm just taking Coming, a look. Lieutenant. All right, Lieutenant, chill out, chill out, chill out. They're all watching me. Oh, there's this guy, the guy from the last investigation. Lieutenant Anderson and his plastic pet. The fuck are you two doing here? We've been assigned all cases involving androids. Oh, yeah? I like the music. You're wasting your time. There's some pervert who, uh, <laughs> got more action than he could handle. <laughs> we'll That's messed up. Anyway, if you don't mind. <laughs> Come on, let's go. It's, uh, starting to stink of booze in here. <clears throat> Good night, Lieutenant. Okay, so guys, we are gonna investigate the crime scene with Hank. Uh, we gotta examine some things. So there was two people here. Uh, oh, we're investigating the woman. Okay. All right, let's uh, do an analyst. Anal well, well, Why? Hey, hey, hey. Oh, Connor, you're so disgusting. <laughs> Connor. Puke again. Hank, you know, get used to it, okay? If I like licking blood, I like licking blood. Diagnose in process. Okay, so something's damaged in her. All right, let's take a look at the guy. Hang, move, please. All right, let's uh, examine the dude. So what happened to this guy? All right, we got a free clues to analyze. All right, let's analyze his eye. Okay, we got deceased. All right, let's analyze his neck bone. Severe bruising, okay. And our final one, cardiac assess. All right, let's reconstruct the scene, this favorite part, let's go. All right. Uh, zoom. There we go. Okay, we're going backwards. So he's getting up. We're gonna analyze him again. Oh, he's being strangled. Okay. And then... That's it? That's all we get to see? Okay, so someone was strangling him. We know that now. Okay, he but what happened to him? He didn't die of a heart attack. He was strangled. Yeah, he was strangled. Yeah, okay, I saw well, the bruising on the neck. Hold up. Can I connect? Oh, I that can do the connect anything, thing. Though. Reactivation required. 
The only way to access its memory is to reactivate it. Think you can do it? I don't know. It's badly damaged. If I can, it'll only be for a minute, maybe less. I okay. just hope it's long enough to learn something. So, I think we're gonna bring this android back to life, and we're gonna get some information off this android. So, uh, yeah, let's see what we can do. LB, open it up. Okay. This is how you activate an android back to life. It's pretty weird. Uh, let's reconnect these two wires. Alright, and BANG! Oh, she just come back to life. Oh my god, she's freaking out. We're friendly. Uh, we can explain, be direct, or soothe. Um, we have one minute. Explain. We need the information. You're damaged and I reactivated you. Everything is alright. Is he... Is, is he dead? Oh. Um... Oh, I don't know what to say! <laughs> uh, murder! Ah, uh, murder! Did you kill him? No. No, it wasn't me. Okay, let's Tell go fast. Tell me what happened. We need to be fast, He Come started... On. ...hitting me. Okay, why? Again. And again. That's messed up. Uh, murderer... I begged him pressure. to stop, but he wouldn't... Alone. Were you alone was... in the room? Was there anyone else with you? Oh god, he we have 11 seconds. Two girls. That's what he said, there was two of us. Uh, kill her! Tell her to kill her! It strangled him. Is that it? Oh, she just window shut down on us. Oh. No, guys, we needed that information. Android. This happened over an hour ago. It's probably long gone. No. It couldn't go outside dressed like that unnoticed. It Is might it? still be here. If you could find a deviant among all the other androids in this place. Deviants aren't easily detected. Shit. It's gotta be some other way. Maybe an eyewitness, somebody who saw it <coughs> in the room. I'm gonna go ask the manager a few questions about what he saw. You let me know if you think of anything. Alright, I got you, Hank. Search? Alright. No, I mean, he came in maybe two, three times. I mean, these guys, they don't really talk very much, you know? They come in, do their business, and go on their way. Have you ever had any trouble with the androids before? <laughs> Look at that no dude just dancing. <laughs> Let's see what we got around us, guys. So we're gonna take a quick look. All right, uh, we got a yellow spark over there. Okay. The only thing I feel like I messed up on, I could have got no more way. information. Excuse me, Lieutenant. Android. Can you come here a second? Found something? Maybe. Maybe. Oh, why does it sound so cool when he says that? <laughs> oh yeah, this girl right here. Can Ask you rent me. this, Tracy? For fuck's sake, Connor. We got better things to do. Please, Lieutenant. Just trust me. Just trust him, Hank. He knows what he's uh, doing. Hmm? Hello. A 30 minute session costs $29.99. Please confirm your purchase. This is not going to look good on my expense account. Purchase confirmed. Even club wishes you. Delighted to meet you. Follow me. I'll take you to your room. Okay, now what? Alright, we're gonna probe her. Holy shit, come on. What the hell are you doing? Oh my god! This is cool! We are we like- we're inside her mind! Alright, locate suspect? It's this guy here, isn't it? Oh, here's a girl that was uh, on the floor. Blue haired T- uh, blue haired Tracy toward the entrance. Okay, can I come out of this? Is that okay? <coughs> I think we got it what saw we needed something. there. What are you yeah. talking about? I saw what? The deviant leave the room. A blue haired Tracy. Club policy is to wipe the android's memory every two hours. We only have a few minutes if we want oh, to find Oh, we have six witness. minutes! I hate when I'm timed. I hate this pressure situation. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Quickly ask this guy. Hey. Let's try this one. Hang, try this one. This better be worth it. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, we might get some more footage here, guys. Let's see what we can see. Guys, tell me if you see anything, okay? Oh, what the? <laughs> this dude's breakdancing! <laughs> oh, there she is again. Okay. Okay, 
get out of here. All right, that's two out of five parts we need. Okay. It saw the blue hair, Tracy. Quick, I know quick, which quick, way. Quick, 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 come on, Connor, let's stop go walking. for it. All right, let's go there for it. There are androids everywhere. Hank, I need you here. There we go. One saw the All right, let's see. Go, 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 go. Um, uh, dude over here. Oh, suspect out of sight, checking over androids. That guy was not our guy. That man no. is not gonna help us out. I lost its track again. Yeah, try this one. Hank, come here. Okay. Oh my god, that look. I thought that was Todd for a second. Uh, any girl around here? The one that we need? Oh, it's not this one either. Damn. No. I lost its track again. Uh, connect. Spent all this money and I'm still not having. I'm, fun. I'm, I'm. She probably has one. She probably has one. I'm taking it she has one because she's on the pole so she's most likely to see everyone around her like her surroundings and stuff so there she is yep right there there we got it i got you <laughs> so she went into the red room guys that's where we're gonna go in right now and we're gonna get some more evidence quickly because we need to be fast we've got six minutes probably less than that now how you doing buddy all right i'm gonna need you to help me out look for some guys i mean girls some girl okay you don't have anything you're just dancing about okay cool Okay. Oh, I think I see her on the left. Yep, there she is. All right, nice. We got another scan. She turned into the blue room. Perfect. Damn, Connor is a good investigator, guys. I love this guy. I don't know how many times I've said that during this whole series. I love Connor, but I love Connor. Shut up, you Let's try you. You're most likely to be to the next door, right? Oh, there's that guy again. Wait, I can't go in there. Can I go in this one? Oh, I can, guys. We can go in this one. All right, so this one's available. I'm going to go for this one. And it left the room. Okay. I wonder if this is illegal, what we're doing. How we're connecting into other androids. I wonder if Connor's actually allowed to do that. I'm taking it's most likely not. But, oh, uh, okay. We got another one here. She went into the private room. Cool. Thanks for telling me, I buddy. I know where it went. Follow me. In here, in here, into the uh, private room. Fucking A. This is crazy. All right. Let's go for here. Follow me, Hank, okay? All right, Hank. Don't get drunk back there, okay? Wait. We're about to find out. I'll take it from here. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, here we go. This is where they keep the androids in the back, right? Hank got his gun. When Hank's got his gun, you know it's business. Oh, search the warehouse? All right. Shit. We're too late. There's North. There's the North and the android that looks like North. Maybe it wasn't a human that killed them. Maybe it was an android because there's so many androids down here that they could just blend in so easily I mean, maybe I just didn't pick that up. What have we got around here? Uh, we got a few things to work with here guys Uh, we got Blue oh blue blood blue blood perfect blue blood blue blood is what we need now. Christ, we can analyze Yep, lick on licking break and then they get <laughs> lick on licking. Uh, Blue blood droplets. I want to find you. Oh <laughs> Oh god! Okay! Hank! Punch her in the face! Oh god! <laughs> she just need Hank! Wait, there's multiple? The f- oh! Get off me! Oh! Connor, come on. You got this. Oh god, she's getting on top of us. Is she beating us up? I don't even know what she's doing at this point. Okay, she's banging my head. Whoa! Oh my goodness! Push her away. Hit her! Hit her! Come on! Self-defense, man. Come on, Connor. Oh my god, Hank is getting his ass beat. <laughs> oh no. Hank is not good fire. Pull or knock over? Uh, uh, knock over! There we go. That was horrible. That was horrible. That is nothing. Oh god, okay. This woman is a strong woman. She threw a pan at me? Bro, here you go. Have another android. You have North. Oh god. Oh my god, Connor! <laughs> Hang, come on, do something! So those were the two androids. Bro, Connor, get up! Quick, they're getting come on. away! Oh, get him! Get him! Get down here! Smack him! Get off me. Oh my god, she's got a pole. Okay, push it to the wall. Nice. Alright. Come on, Connor. Pin him down. You're, a... You're meant to be amazing. Oh my god, bro. They are so persistent. 
Oh, he's gonna punch. Oh, she's pulled a pin on me! Oh, God. I'm not gonna press it. I don't know. I'm gonna let the game decide. Oh, okay. Alright, okay. I didn't wanna shoot. I didn't wanna shoot. I don't wanna kill anyone in this game. When that man broke the other Tracy, I knew I was next. I was so scared. Oh, they've gone deviant. I begged him to stop, but he wouldn't. <clears throat> and so I put my hands around his throat and I squeezed until he stopped moving. I didn't mean to kill him. I just wanted to stay alive. Get back to the one I love. Oh, damn to a relationship. I wanted her to hold me in her arms again. Make me forget about the humans. Their smell of sweat. And their dirty words. Come on. Let's go. It's probably better this way. Yeah. I agree, Hank. Guys, I did not want to shoot them. I don't want to kill anyone in this game. Unless it's Lacko. He can die. But I didn't I didn't I didn't want to kill them cuz I knew they had a good purpose. Like they wouldn't just come at us and run at us for no reason. So I knew it would have been for a good reason. Yeah, there's Looper. Oh, this guy can drive a car? Wait, who's driving? Or are these like so advanced they just self-drive? I don't even- Oh, there's Alice! Look at her! <laughs> she looks oh, she's actually got new clothes now. Thank God. Okay. I was gonna say, she's been wearing those clothes for too long. Okay. Uh, so we can talk about the car, the destination, the distance, or the weather. Uh, let's go with- Go over our destination. These people we're going to see. How do you know about them? Yeah, true. I heard androids Lako captured. They said they were humans helping androids across the border. What if it was a lie? Just another trap. All I know <clears> is those <throat> androids believed it. Until Zlako killed them. Okay. So, he knows certain things because of Zlatko. Zlatko's- I mean, he's- Luther's heard over Zlatko, so that's how he knows about the destination we're going to and everything about th that type of stuff. Uh, car distance, weather. Uh, I don't think the weather's important. I think the car? It's a good thing Zlatko had a car. <clears throat> I wouldn't want Alice out walking in this cold. Yeah, we didn't want that I saw one. it once in the garage. I don't know if Zlatko even ever used it. Is he driving it? No, yeah, literally, it just self-drives. Uh, so we can go distance or weather. Let's go with our Is it distance. Much farther? We should arrive in an hour or so. Okay. All right. Alice, you good back there, huh? Emergency brakes Oh. We should arrive in an hour. <laughs> literally, the car breaks down. No. Oh, that's not helpful, is it? This doesn't look good. Nope. Oh my god, it's so advanced. Stay inside, Alice. No, I don't I don't wanna leave her again. I know it's just gonna like I know it's cold and all, but like I don't wanna leave her. I feel like oh, okay. I guess we're leaving her. Guys, I don't I feel nervous leaving Alice in the car by herself. I just don't know. Oh, we're gonna fix the car engine? Oh maybe since we're androids we can like power it ourselves with our body or some stuff, I don't know. Oh yeah, wipe that gas. Wipe it. What are we going to do? I don't know. Continue on foot, I guess. It's 30 oh. degrees. Alice won't make it. We have to find somewhere to spend the night. There's nowhere we can stay around here, Carol. There's a big arrow over there. Okay, do I need to get Alice out of the car then? All right, we gotta find some shelter first. Yeah, because obviously I'm not having Alice walk that long, okay? No, she does not deserve that. All right, it's a big arrow over here. Uh, let's follow the arrow, see where it takes us. Oh my God, okay, we got a big view here. Big bird's eye view. Okay, this kind of looks like a, yeah, I was gonna say it looks like a theme park. Pirate's Cove, amusement park. I don't know if I wanna go here. It kind of gives me creepy there. vibes. Oh, 
look at Alice! <laughs> oh, this is so cute. Alright, yeah, we're going into the Pirates Cove amusement park. I don't know how I feel about this. I played a lot of horror games in my time, and I just don't feel good with amusement parks. I don't know. We need to okay. find shelter. Alright, check the abandoned buildings. Cold. Looks like it's been abandoned for a while. Yup. Alright, good thinking, Carol. Let's find some shelter. Uh, let's see. Let's have a look at the stalls. Check. Anything useful find in here? Find anything? No. Not instruction. Nah, no place say. we can spend the night. Is it me or is Kara's voice changing? Like, I don't know if that's just me. I, I feel like her voice has changed, guys. I don't know. Alright, guys. Who is this? Hi. Oh, you're frozen. Welcome to Pirate Island, me hearties. You're gonna have a whale of a time. That's the guy from Bellini's shop, right? One of him, but that Welcome looks like him. Welcome to Pirate Island, me hearties. You're gonna have a whale of a time. He just said that. Oh, he's gone. Is that him? Well, obviously we know now they make duplicates. So I guess it doesn't kind of matter if it is him or not. But that looked like the exact same guy. <laughs> Look at Luther, bro. He's so strong. He literally just carry carries Alice in one hand. I'm so happy like Luther is our like friend now. He's our compadre. Like he's our boy. He got us. Oh, what's up here? Uh, dead skeleton. Anything safe in here? Uh, too small for the three of us. Okay. So that wasn't that unsafe or anything. That one was just way too small for us. So we're going to go this way. We're going to keep looking. And uh, yeah, hopefully we should find shelter soon because it is freezing out here. And I don't want to freeze to death. Um, any shelter over here? Oh, here we go. We have a window right here. Uh, look safe inside. Okay. Maybe we could use this. I'm not sure, but this actually might work. We're gonna need to get the boards off though. Oh, we're just gonna rip them off. Oh yeah, she's an android. She's built. <laughs> she's built different. Luffy's like, nah. I'll handle this. <laughs> yeah, I'll handle this. What the hell? Can we get a replay on that? All right, nice. He got them down. That was so weird. Okay, all right, Luffy. <laughs> he's gonna kick down the door. Here we go. All right, we're going inside. <clears throat> I don't know. This place just gives me the creeps. I don't know. I don't think we'll find anything better. Let's settle in for the night. I'll get the fire going. All right. Nice work, Luther. Since this place has been abandoned so much and messed up, Obviously, it had to be something to do with that. Something's messed this place up. All right, check gun. What? Wait, it's a gun. Ooh, why do I really want to fire that? That looks really cool. I don't know. I like the design of that. Offer a cookie. Oh, can we give Alice a cookie? There are some cookies left. Would you like some? No, I'm not hungry. Oh. Legit, every... <laughs> I'll make the fire. That way we won't be smoked out. Why is it just like Alice and Kara being like such like a mother figure to Alice? I love it so much. I don't know. It just warms my heart. Uh, okay, we got a photo here. Maybe of like a family? Uh, Pirate's Cove. Welcome. Oh, more RA9 signs, guys. More RA9 signs. Uh, we, let's just rip this off then. Yoink. Got a pirate flag or a pillow. Maybe give that to Alice. Oh yeah, we can like set up a little bed for her. Damn though, she's been through so much though, like guys. Like she is this whole time. We have put her through so much. I mean it's not exactly our fault, but it's just like Todd. I wonder where Todd is actually right now as well though. Like I wonder what Todd is up to. Like if he's actually trying Alice? to still look for Alice. No? What's going on? Alice? You okay? Oh, she wants a family. Do you think we'll be like them someday? Once we cross the border, we can start over. You can go to school. 
Maybe I'll find a job. We'll be like them. Like everyone else. As long as we're together, that's all that matters. Come on. Let's get you to bed. I can't not smile looking at that. Like, <laughs> why? It's sad, but it's so wholesome. All right, Alice, let's get you to bed. Put this blanket over you. Get you nice and warm, you know. Uh, we can reassure her. We can console her. Kiss tomorrow. Sleep tight, Alice. Sweet dreams. Can you tell me a story, Kara? I have 9,000 children's stories in memory. I should have one for you. Princess Unicorn or a knight? Um, I don't know what story I want to tell her. Uh, let's go with... Let's go princess. This is a story about a princess who... No, not a story like that. Oh. Make one up for me. Oh, okay. This is a story about a little girl. Uh, unhappy fear alone. Let's go with fear. Who was tired of being afraid. She dreamed of being like all the other little girls, but... Uh, impossible, shadow, or different. Let's go with... Um, different. She was different. And that made her very sad. Then, she met a robot. Uh, let's go who it. was programmed to obey orders, but felt for once that she should disobey. So they decided to run away together. Uh, better life. To try to find a better life. They encountered great dangers along the way, but. Brave. They were so brave that they escaped all of them. Along the way, they met Luther! A giant! A gentle giant who promised to protect them. How does the story end? They reach the place they dream of. And live happily ever after. Stories always have happy endings. But real life isn't like that. Time to sleep. We have another long day ahead of us tomorrow. Are you going to come say goodnight, Luther? Yes. Yes, of course. <laughs> He's so big. <laughs> He's huge, dude. Good night, Alice. Sleep tight. Oh my god. That's so sweet. <clears throat> She's a sweet girl. Yes. She's very brave. Uh, RA9. You know, I want to talk about a lot about RA9, so that's what I'm going to talk to Luther about. Have you ever heard of RA9? RA9 was the first of us to awaken. One day he will rise up and lead our people and set us all free. Okay, so that tells... I want to keep knowing about this RA9. But if RA9 never comes... What if he's just a story that we tell ourselves to keep each other going? R.A. 9 exists. I believe in him. I know he's amongst us. Also, it's a guy. When the time comes, we will all see him. Kara, have you ever noticed anything? 
about Alice? Wait, what? Wait, what does he mean? Hold on. What? Well, I'm confused. I'm no. Confused. What do you mean? Yeah. Oh. Oh God! Wait. I knew it. I knew there was a. I knew there was something up to this place. I knew it. I knew there was something wrong. Okay. First of all, we gotta grab Alice. Alice, come here. Get the gun, Luther. Hi. Now, nah, question first. Question first. Who are first. you? What do you want? Leave us alone. Don't be afraid. We don't want to hurt you. Don't be afraid. You just smashed the window. Just thank you. Our name is Jerry. We were working here before the park closed. Yeah, there's a lot of you guys. We didn't mean to frighten you, but sometimes humans come to hurt us, so we wanted to see who was there. Kind of. We were looking for shelter for the night. We'll be gone tomorrow. A little girl. We haven't seen one for a long time. Children, you still yeah, love you're to not come gonna see, see one anytime soon. I'm keeping her way away from you. She looks sad. The last few days have been difficult. Oh, we have something to show her. Something fun. She'll love it. Does she want to see? Oh, I don't think no. she's in. Oh, she should follow us then. Alice, I don't know if it's a good come idea. On, Tara. No, Alice, please. I don't think you have any choice. These dudes look crazy. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about them. They probably are nice, but I don't know. There's so many of them. Like, oh, I don't know. I don't like it. It's like the ultimate incest fest. All right, reactivate. Carousel? Oh, Carousel. Carousel. <laughs> I read that so wrong. Carousel. So we reactivate the carousel. Oh, it's really nice. Okay, maybe they are nice. Maybe the I was a bit harsh. Climb on board. I was a bit harsh in the, the game. The carousel is about to begin. All right. This is such a nice moment. I love this. I don't know why they had to come in though and start breaking the windows. I got you, Alice. Hop on up. Hop on up the horse. There you go. Characters so likable. Like, I've known Luther for a small amount of time, and I love this guy already. One thing I was gonna say to you guys as well that I've noticed about Kara is. She's becoming, she's have, like, before when we first met Kara and she was all friendly with us and stuff, she had that type of mother status. Like, she had the the mother thing where she was obviously Alice's guardian. I see it more now in, like, her emotion and her movement and she's becoming more like a human mother instead of an android mother. I don't know if you guys understand that, but if you do, then you know what I kind of mean, like, what I'm trying to talk about. And we're back as Connor. And also, where's Marcus, though? I was like, I thought we were going to go back to Marcus. Oh yeah, Hank likes heavy metal, doesn't he, I think. Or was it jazz? I can't remember. Alright. Partner! Hank! I'm coming! Uh, alright. We're outside of a park. Okay. Are we looking for anything? Or are we just, like, coming here to chill? How you doing? You know what? I hope we get to ask some questions about this kid and stuff. Because, you know, I still feel really bad about that. How you doing, Hank? Nice view, huh? I used to come here a lot before. Personal question, stop drinking before, go back. Okay, yeah, so I'm taking it when he said before he meant about his son. And I feel like if I go personal question, I'm going to kind of invading his privacy because we looked at his frames and stuff. So I'm going to go before as if I don't know his son's passed before away. Before what? Hmm? You said... I used to come here a lot before. Before what? Before... Before...
for nothing. Oh, he lied. Okay, let's just ask about the personal question then. Can I ask you a personal question, Lieutenant? Do all androids ask so many personal questions? <laughs> or is it just you? It's just me. It's just Connor. Uh, photo suicide. Uh, oh, guys, I don't really know what... Because one of these could really get on Hank's nerves. I'm going to go to... I saw a photo of right, a child this, yeah. on your kitchen table. It was your son, right? Yeah, because I feel like we went straight to the point of a problem. Yeah. His name was Cole. What happened? We're not making any progress on this investigation. The Deviants have nothing in common. They're all different models. Produced at different times, in different places? Well, there must be some link. Um, RA9, sure. I'm gonna go with RA9 because we learned off Luther RA9 was the first android and he's gonna like lead an alliance. What they have in common is this obsession with RA9. Yeah. It's almost like some kind of myth. Something they invented that wasn't part of their original program. Androids believing in God. Fuck, what's this world coming to? You seem preoccupied, Lieutenant. Is it something to do with what happened back at the Eden Club? Those two girls. They just wanted to be together. They really seemed... in love. Yeah. It's not rational, deviant, it's ironic, cool. Let's go ironic. You seem troubled, Lieutenant. Oh no, that's kind of not what I wanted to go for. I didn't think machines could have such an effect on you. What about you, Connor? Hold on. Was it just me that noticed Connor's voice change there? As if, like, he went from, Hi, I'm, I'm Connor, Connor, to, Hey, I'm Connor? You know what I mean? Like, it was more of a natural human voice. Connor turning deviant? Huh? <laughs> Maybe? I don't know. I don't know if that was me that just noticed that. You look human, you sound human, but what are you really? Cold, aggressive, defensive, neutral. Let's go neutral. I'm whatever you want me to be, Lieutenant. Your partner, your buddy to drink with, or just a machine designed to accomplish a task. <laughs> you could have shot those two girls, but you didn't. Why didn't you shoot, Connor? Whoa! Some scruple suddenly enter into your program? Lie? I'm gonna tell the truth. No! I just decided not to shoot. That's all. Oh! I could kill you. And you would just come back as if nothing happened. But are you afraid to die, Connor? Hank, chill the F out. Yes, no. Mm -hmm. I'm you didn't do that, Lieutenant. Destroying me at this point would deal a blow to the investigation and have negative consequences for your personal situation. What'll happen if I pull this trigger? Hmm? Nothing? Oblivion? Android heaven? Uh, uh Deffy Hank's anger. Hmm. Hank's anger. Where does all your anger come from, Lieutenant? Some unresolved trauma in your past? That's exactly where it comes from, bro. You think you're so fucking smart. Always one step ahead, huh? I thought we were getting somewhere. Tell me this, smart ass. How do I know you're not a deviant? I self test regularly. I know what I am. And what I am not. Self-test. What is this, COVID? Where are you going? To get drunker. Why did I he... need to think. He actually just pulled a gun out on us. I thought we were getting somewhere. Me and Hank. Buddies. Like... What? 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 
I thought me and Hank were getting somewhere. Why did he just turn like that? Was it something I said? I thought he liked us. Are we back as Marcus? Oh yeah, we are. We're back with Marcus, guys. In Jericho. My god! He's literally treating that android like he's dirt. Oh, hold on. I forgot. Marcus is trying to help everyone, isn't he? So, he must have been like... Did you see the other... Android in the back, his head went red. We can't stay silent anymore. It's time humans heard what we had to say. You know they'll never listen to us. And revealing ourselves will put us in danger. If we want freedom, we need to have the courage to ask for it. That's the only way. What do you want to do? Oh. Channel 16 broadcasts from the Stratford Tower. The control room is on the top floor. That's where we need to go. Bro, this turned into Mission Impossible real quick. Oh my god, Marcus looks so cool! Oh yeah, he definitely knows he's an android. He's looking at him like, We'll plan huh? the operation down to the smallest detail. We can't leave anything to chance. Oh my god. Marcus is taking it to the next level now guys. He is doing his alliance. He is building his rebellion now Anyways guys, I'm gonna leave Detroit become human here this episode I, I know I say this all the time, but every single episode of this is insane and so amazing I'd still love Karen Alice's relationship. That was so nice to see her happy and smile Connor at the start as well. We got some more investigation some more things on the deviants and a bit about RA9 as well Which is really good and now, and also, I'm still shocked Hank pulled a gun out on us. Like, that was crazy. Like, how did he go from that? We saved this guy's life and he pulled a gun out at our head. I, I don't know. I have no idea. I mean, I thought we were getting somewhere as well with Connor. But uh, yeah, if you did enjoy this video, please drop a like. Turn on the notification bell so you don't miss out on another upload. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys all really did enjoy this video. Take care and I'll see you guys in my next one. I'm out. <laughs>